The idea for Bloom came a few years ago. I was um, reading a newspaper article about a nursing home, I think in the Netherlands, uh, who were offering free accommodation to local college students in return for them helping out around the home. I got called into Working Dog sometime in late 2019, um, something to do with music, and I walked in and met Tom Gleisner and his colleagues, and um, they pitched Bloom to me, and uh, wrote them some music and the rest is history. Over the, the journey of, of Bloom, we've uh, uh, had the privilege of working with some amazing performers, some of whom have been there right from the workshop stage. People like John O'May, Jackie, Jackie. Rees has been there. Um, and then there are others who have come on board more recently. Our, our current cast is is just um, so ridiculously talented. <laughs> We've got um, Vidya Macon who's playing playing Ruby. Who's so excited to have Frankie J Holden. He's everything we were chasing. He's been wonderful. Evelyn Crape, who's um, probably the hardest working, well, I won't say her age, because I think her agent has told us we're not allowed to mention her age. <laughs> let's just say north of 50. <laughs> not a day over 65. That'll do. Sloane Sidiro is a name we hadn't heard of. I think Dean, our, our director, spotted Sloane. He's playing Finn, who's the, the student who moves into Pine Grove Nursing Home. I'm really excited that uh, our colleague and friend Anne Edmonds has agreed to, well, I think, I think she's making her musical theatre debut. She is, she is. And she can sing. She can definitely sing. Mm. I've given her some hard songs. How do we sum up Bloom in a few words? Silence. <laughs> so, uh, the, just the first word that comes to mind is joyous. <laughs> you go my way. Easy. I'll have that down in uh, by the end of the day. Yeah. Tickets go on sale end of March. And we're on in July at the Playhouse at the Art Centre. This year? This year. Shit. <laughs>